Okay, today I show you guys how to solve a paramorphics by using my self-invented method. So before you start, uh, I just want to show some tricks uh, to some uh, common things, some useful things uh, for how to solve it. The uh, first thing is just this. See, you turn into, you just do an R on any side, and it sort of turns into this funny looking shape. And then you do R2, it doesn't matter, like, you just change into this rocket ship. Rocket shape. You can see, so when you go back, so R, U2. I have to, oh, I, I don't know, just, yeah, try to turn back. Try to turn to this uh, shape uh, by yourself, and then uh, and then you can find out that you can actually rotate this this part, and that's uh, that's how most of my step needs to work. So you just turn the top side and like adjusting the center. I don't know. And, and another trick is to it's not even a trick. Uh, I think. It, it's like turning the tips, so you just so I don't know uh L R prime L prime R prime and then double that. So I think it's a sledgehammer. I don't I don't care. My my mouse doesn't follow my brain today. So yeah. Uh, so let's go. So first step, definitely scramble it up. And so for my first step, you basically, if you're a long time, long time cuber, you should know how to, you should figure it out how to solve one side, like just, just play around with it and you can solve one side and one layers, one side and one layer, so doesn't matter this, as long as you have uh, all these pieces in place, and now, this is the step, uh, you're gonna put it back to uh, a pyramid ship. I think my my method is much better than the colorful pocket method, and because uh, and for the for the instruction that follows that follows this cube says you have to turn into a pyramid first and then solve it. But for mine, you can solve you can solve back to a pyramid during you are solving it. Okay, so you see. I change it back to a pyramid and see now you have to use that trick to actually do this so <coughs> here we go uh, wait we only have just three pieces left sometimes you will only have two opposites but this time you just do R use that trick you see that trick and then do just a little U and then go back wait and then go back now you see it turned into two opposite. And what you want to do is put this. Um, you know the two opposite. You just put the ones to the left and one face you, and then you do that trick again. But this time you don't go there. You go to the side that already soft like this, and then use that trick. This time it's also one ones. And now when you go back, you can see. Uh, these two are opposite and these two are opposite and now it's pretty easy uh, so you just uh, this side face you and this one the opposite to this one is on the but is at the button uh, and now you use the same trick but use the same trick this time it's you two and then go back now you solve it nice and easy and yeah.